Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice algebra equation? Solution from here. And what we have here, we take 80 to the left hand side. That is, we have x squared minus x cubed minus 80 now equals to 0 here. And also, next step here, we can express 80 as 16 plus 64. Then this equation becomes x squared minus x cubed minus into bracket 16 plus 64 plus bracket equals to 0 here. Now this here minus open this bracket and we have x squared minus x cubed minus 16 and minus 64 equals to 0 here. Uh, this here 16 can be expressed as 4 times 4 that's 4 square and also 64 can be expressed as 4 times 4 times 4 that's 4 cube then this equation becomes x square minus x cube minus 4 square minus 4 cube equals to 0 here then we rearrange and we bring the squares together and the cube together. Here we have x square minus 4 square. Then we have minus x cube minus 4 cube equals to 0 here. Then when we group this in brackets, I'll put this as x square minus 4 square into brackets. And here minus is common factor it out. We are left with x cube plus 4 cube into brackets equals to 0 here. Then for this bracket here, this follows what we have a square minus b square, which can express as a minus b into brackets, open bracket a plus b. And also this bracket follows what we have a cube plus b cube which you can express as a plus b into brackets and open brackets a square minus a b plus b square then we can rewrite what we have here and this becomes x minus 4 into brackets also into brackets x plus 4 then minus here also we have into bracket x plus 4 also into bracket x square minus 4x plus 4 square plus bracket equals to 0 here which implies x plus 4 is common here we factor it out and this becomes x plus 4 into bracket and here we are left with x minus 4 then here we have minus, here we are left with x square minus 4x plus 4 square, that's 16, close bracket, then closes bracket equals to 0 here. Then also, minus open this bracket, we have x plus 4 into brackets, and open brackets, here we have x minus 4, and this become minus x square plus 4x minus 16 plus brackets equals to 0 here. Then when we rearrange here, what we have becomes x plus 4 into brackets, open brackets. Here we have minus x square, then x plus 4x, that gives us plus 5x. Then minus 4 minus 16, we have minus 20, close bracket, equals to 0 here. That is, next step here, we have two possible cases. The first one, x plus 4 equals to 0, or we have minus x squared plus 5x minus 20 equals to 0 here. Then here, we solve this we have x equals to minus 4 which is a real solution here 
and also we can multiply this quadratic equation through by minus one as this this become plus x square then minus five x plus twenty then equals to zero here which implies here we have a equals to one b equals to minus five and c equals to twenty when we apply the quadratic formula which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a and what we have here becomes x equals to minus minus 5 plus or minus square root of minus 5 square minus 4 times 1 times 20 all over 2 times 1 then here we have x equals to minus times minus is plus here becomes 5 plus or minus square root of minus 5 square that's 25 and minus 4 times 1 times 20 we have 80 then all over two here. That is, yeah, this becomes x equals to 5 plus or minus square root of 25 minus 80. We have minus 55 over 2. That is, we can write this as x equals to 5 plus or minus square root of 55 times minus 1 over 2. When we separate this, and when we have root a times b, which you can write as root a times root b, what we have here becomes x equals to 5 plus or minus root 55 times root minus 1 over 2. That is here this becomes x equals to 5 plus or minus square root of 55 root minus 1 is i then over 2 here we have two complex solutions here and therefore all together here we have three solutions in this problem one is solution and two complex solutions but this we have x1 equals to minus 4 x2 equals to 5 plus root 55 i over 2 and also x3 equals to 5 minus root 55 i over 2 which implies we have one real and two complex solutions here then when we check we substitute minus 4 into this given equation that is we have x squared minus x cube equals to 80 then when x is minus 4 this is because minus 4 square minus into bracket minus 4 cube this is equals to 80 on this side then when we square minus turn to plus so this becomes plus four square which is 16 then minus minus raised to power odd number is still minus so this becomes minus or raised to power three that's 64 is it equals to 80 on this side that is here minus times minus is plus we have 16 plus 64 this is equals to 80 on this side. Of course, 16 plus 64 here, yeah, it was 80, which is equals to 80 here. Yeah. And this left hand side is equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude that minus 4 satisfies this given problem. Same way, these two complex solutions we also satisfy. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn this question by share this video. Give it a thumbs up and put your comments. See you next class and bye for now.